Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Coding with Thiago. Thanks for watching this video. I want to share with you an extension for VS Code, which will help you to have a better visualization about your errors, warnings, and informations into your code editor, okay? So, as you can see here, I have a file app.psx. It is just a React application, mm, not a big deal here. So as you can see, I have a few errors, warnings, and informations in my, co uh, in my code editor, but I can't see I can't see the errors or the error description and anything like that, right? I don't have a clear information about it, so I have to focus on the error and hover, and I will be able to see what is the error or the warning, etc., right? So. You can see here the, uh, that set count is declared, but its value never reads. Okay, uh, you can see here that here it's rotting wrong, right? Because it's here on the word. Of course, I have here also the comparison appears to be unintentional because I'm comparing a string, uh, sorry, a number to a string. This is wrong in TypeScript. Right, so I have this few errors here and I have to focus on them and hover and I kind of waste a lot of time doing this when I have a lot of errors in my application, in my file. So for avoiding this and making our life easier, we have this extension here, which is error lens, right? This one here, uh, we can install it and it's already working. As you can see, it's changed totally the, the file aspect, you know? So right now it is saying right here, set counts declared, but, but its values never read. Okay, now I know that. Here on the word again, um, it will show the same errors that we have on the, on the hover action, but on the same line the error is happening. So this is very useful and it helped me a lot when I'm working and I have an error and so I don't have to focus and hover uh, on the error to see what's going on. So I can see everything right here, right? So if I fix the error, so for example, let me see, let me fix this set count here. I will remove it because I'm not using, right? Here again, uh, I will remove the, uh, I'll fix the word. And count, I will not compare with a string, I will compare with a number again. And it's compared, uh, declared, but it's very long read. And my let. Whoops. My let. Okay, and now our errors are gone. So, as you guys can see, this extension is very helpful, right? So, let me write a, a new error here so you guys can see happening in real time, for example. Uh, two. Again, it's it's showing the, the same error as before, but happening real time right now. Okay, so this is the, the extension, and just a final thought here. If you guys open the the preferences, you guys will be able to see that error lens also have a lot of configuration, right? So you can configure board radius, the de de delay, disable line comments. So you have all uh, you have the the errors being shown in your code editor, but also can configure a lot of things here, okay? I will not talk about each one because they are a lot, but you guys can see that we have many things to customize on this, on this extension, right? All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy and start using the, this extension and see you in the next video for another VS Code extension to our VS Code playlist. Okay, thank you and see you guys. Bye.